Well, hello. Hi, everyone. Thank you for clicking in. Thank you for being there and saying hello already. That's so nice to see you all there. Hi, Christina. Thank you for remembering to say click the like button. I always forget. So yes, please click the like button if you don't mind. It helps a lot. Um, and we have this new game where we try and get to 100 likes by the end of the night. So that's Always good if I can get there. Well, hello, Dame Cupcake. Gina Gay's in the house, everybody. Um, Edgar was just on me. He was just doing the full drape. And, I, you know, I was wondering how long he was going to be. And he jumped off just a second ago. I saw in your comments, Autumn, about the, um, the hiccups. So what you're supposed to do, did it work? First of all, did you actually try it? Or <laughs> because... Okay, so what you do is like, this is the, the side of the cup that you normally drink from, right? So when you have hiccups, you're supposed to drink from the other side of the cup. And you try and drink as much as you can from the other side of the cup and you end up like doing like a curve, going almost upside down and it changes the balance of air in your stomach or whatever and it and it works like it is so you drink from the other side of the cup drink from the other side of the cup it actually works it's worked for me and hi patrick and i have those hiccups um that have like i forget what they have like they're hiccups i think they're hiccups like burps on the end of them or something they're like weird <laughs> i don't remember oh it never worked for you so um yeah, so it's so happy to be here. So happy to see all of you. I am already feeling better. I've been just so poopy all day long. It's that time of year where I'm, I'm not, I, I, I'm, I get very like, I'm not like a happy holiday person. I get kind of depressed and sad. Um, because you know I remember all the things about the holidays past, and you know it's a lot of pressure and a lot of busy work and. Um, you know, it's just a lot of stuff. So, and it's, it's oh, it's the anniversary. <laughs> Total downer. <laughs> Hooray, you're all here. Are you ready for the downer? Anniversary of my mother's death tomorrow. It's a few days before my birthday. And then it's uh, Thanksgiving and Christmas. So, <laughs> please stay with me. Don't click off. <laughs> Hi, Stella. <laughs> I, I, I just wish I could see your faces right now. Oh yeah, people are clicking. No, don't go, don't go. I'm happy, I'm really happy you're here. Um, uh, hi, M. White, so it's gonna be great. Um, November is hard, exactly, November can be hard. So I have all the things from Alan's, oh, so if you look in the description box, you know how I say I have the full list for both nights? I actually don't this time because I wanted to really, oh, you did that. First tries were so wet. <laughs> it did help. Oh, good. Okay. Yeah, it's just, you know, it's that upside down thing when you try and go upside down. So, hi, Julie. Um, so, I wanted to really just focus on, um, on his things. And so, if you look in the description box, there's only part of them. And so, what I did was I did part of his plus my things that I didn't get to from last week because I know some of you were really waiting for like the Scaparelli, blah, blah, blah. So, uh, it's what's there. And then his is coming up on Friday. I, I didn't even make the list yet. I'm, so, there'll be another list loaded for Friday. That's everything that's left from his things. And then I think. Um, it's going to be the other things that were in the preview that are just like fun, like like the scarves, you know, and the little purses and things. So, um, so that's Friday's plan. So tonight it's just going to be um, what I ha didn't have time to get to last week and most of his things. And Sheba says, you don't have to be sorry. Oh, thank you so much, Sheba, Sheba slash T. I'll just say slash T. Um... What did Anne say? I missed it. Ugh. Oh, that's not fun, Anne. I will keep that in mind. Yeah, that's that's a bad one. That's really bad. Oh, I'm so sorry. All right. November 30th. Yeah. Yeah, I know. And so, like, when things like that conflate with the holidays, when everyone else is out there you know, doing the holiday thing, 
And for me, especially because I facilitate that, you know, so I'm, it's a constant reminder for me. Anyway, um, uh, what did Gina say? Next time you're snag a couple sugar packets. Oh, yeah, right. Yeah, sugar. <laughs> All right, so it is an auction tonight. If you're new, there are there's a lot of people here right now, so I know there's new people here. Oh, Julie Collins Marquez. Hi, you. I, I don't recognize you. Maybe you changed your name. Thank you for putting your picture in. I love to see uh, everyone's pictures. Um, yeah, October. I know, it's, it's time of year, man. Also, I think, just con compounds it. So, um... Yeah, blessings, Olive. So if you're new, this is the auction. If you've been watching the videos and you're here because you're in, you were watching the videos, this is the auction. I do it twice a week, Wednesdays and Fridays at 7 p.m. Eastern. And if you are just a reseller and you want to see what things actually go for, this is a great, this is, any video that I make, there, there is value there that, you know, you can learn from. It's not just the ones where I say, how do I identify this and how do I identify that? There's always value um, in everything. And I think the people in the group can attest to that. Um, so, uh, yeah, so, and we do $5 increments. Oh, and if you're new and you think you want to bid, if you're not just here to see what things go for you you saw something you want to bid on and you're new please text me or email me now so just so i have your contact info in case the links to the buttons don't work we use paypal buttons here it's the most painless thing you can oh it's been a while okay it's the most painless painless thing like if you've ever gotten anything on the internet anywhere this is a better experience than that it's a live link exactly to what you want for each individual thing. We don't bother to like compile it at the end of the night, nothing like that. It's just whatever the have a price is. And then at the end of the night or the next day when I'm doing shipping, oh, I have, it looks like I have connection issues. No, it's okay. All right. Did you see any blur? Carly's here. That's good. Okay. Um, so if I need to ask for shipping or insurance extra, uh, shipping is, is on me if it's $45 or more, um, if you're in the U.S. So I would only ask for insurance, which means you're, you've got a lot of stuff and it's worth it to insure. So I would ask separately. I will send a separate request for that. Or if you're in another country, then you would get taken off your shipping what everybody else gets, and then you need to pick up on the rest because it's shipping. You know, overseas can be really expensive. Um, and it's uh, you don't need to have a PayPal account to use the button, which is really great. It's just an active link. You don't even have to be in the chat. If you want, you can bid by text um, and you can still use the button if you can get to, if you can get to it, right? It's, you don't have to be signed in to even use the link to the button, which is really, really nice. Um, but I will say sometimes when you text me, the timing isn't great. Like, so if you're thinking about bidding by a text ever, not just tonight, but ever, do it with lots of extra time because um, it's, you know, because otherwise you'll you'll never, like, have a bid that's, you know, enough. Like, you can bid $5 and it'll already be up to 10 You know what I mean? So think about that if you're going to bid by text. Um, and did I cover everything now? Shipping. Thank you for connecting. Uh, I feel like I said everything. I talked about the shipping. I talked about... Hi, Lizzie. And it's so nice to see you there, too. Uh, okay, so we're going to start with... So this is all Alan's things. It was from the Ancient Jewelry Box and Opening. And I, um, I, I did like a departure from my usual thing because this was really like the charm. It was just how it was in this box for decades and decades so I left it all untouched so it'll be up to you the only thing I cleaned was the ring because it turned out to be not yellow glass it turned out to be yellow amethyst like crazy I've never actually seen a yellow amethyst in real life before um, you know they made them by heating them to back in the day that was like their, you know, instead of citrine, you know, but uh, just an upcoming, just, just because I, I thought it was glass 
here it is. This is actual, a beautiful old, old ring. And that, look at the cut of it. It's that old cut. There are markings in there. Um, that's a yellow amethyst. Isn't that just the coolest? Very deco. All right, so anyway, so this is the only thing I cleaned. My point was everything else I left as is, and it'll be up to you what you want to do with it. So um, Lizzie says, hi, Carly. <laughs> um, so we're going to start. Yeah, we're going to start with the first thing. Number one, it's the old horse and whip pin. Uh, this is not silver. This is in that box. I started it at 25. It's just really old. I'm sure it's silver plated. Um, it did, it was actually, it did, it, de it did not test as sterling, but there were, there was some blue showing up. So it's probably um, like a low, it's probably just not 925. It's probably like 800 or something like that. That's the back of it. It's bent. <laughs> These things are old. Oh, I also tried to group things to keep them together as much as possible, which I don't usually do. Oh, the size, uh, Stella wants to know the size of the yellow amethyst. Uh, if you can tag her, I'll put it in there now. Also, everyone else should probably wants what to know too. The size of the pin? Oh, maybe the size of the pin, yeah. Um, let me just... This is bigger than it's coming out. This is so weird because it's definitely not a four. I think it's a six. It's a six, but it's a little bent, so I, I'm just going by. She was looking at the ring. There. She was. Okay, all right. It's a. <laughs> yeah, it's a. It's a six. Right now, but I think it's. I think you can have some play with that because it's it's old and it's yeah anyway so getting back to the thing so the horse the horse the horse with the look it has the equestrian kind of look you can see the braided and it's definitely some sterling content but not uh i mean some silver content but not silver not sterling <laughs> some silver not sterling there it is uh yeah yeah so, hi, Sheila. <sighs> All right. Is this a pass? This might be a pass. Oh, the whole the holiday. Isn't that funny? It's a kid's project. I liked it because it was flat. <laughs> and this is tinfoil covered like uh, paper towel tubes. But this is vintage. Like this, I got this um, at the thrift store. These are like the old balls. So, yeah, I enjoy it. I enjoy it because it's flat and you can see through it. It's like my criteria. All right. I think we're going to pass on this one. Um, see the braid? But you can see that patina, right? So it is a departure tonight. There will be things with patina. Not not my usual. Um, the next group. What is the next thing? Oh, this. So it's so funny because when I pulled it out of the box, I was like, looks like Danecraft. It actually is Danecraft. It's signed. It's Callie Lily Bangle. And I put it together with the other bangle, which turned out to be Silvertone. So I am trying to keep things together. This is beautiful. Oh, you know what? I didn't weigh this. It's heavy. It's on the heavy side. You can see how solid it is. And it does have um, Danecraft in there. And again, these things are not polished. Like this is, I know this isn't usually what things look like. Hello, Suzanne. Thank you for saying hello. Looking for the mark. See, cattle lilies, right? I think there it is. Right in there. Really old mark. It says Jane Craft. And I put it together with this one and it is silver and wendy says 50. thank you wendy there they are together it's a nice one it's it's old 
Yep, yep, yep. You want to throw it on and see how many grams, if it's convenient. And in the meantime, I'll show what's coming up next. What's, oh, Valerie, thank you. Uh, 19. <clears throat> oh, yeah, it's it's 19 grams. There's so much heavy sterling. 19 is really heavy <laughs> by today's standards. 19. 19 grams. It's with this silver tone one. So I kept them together. Okay, so Valerie said, oh, Wendy is at 60, and Vicki, you are bidding through text, so we are at 60 right now. Um, and then I want to show you this. This one's also really heavy. Valerie is at 65. Thank you for your bids. Yeah, I will see if I can find the pink another pink pillow okay put it on the black one Wendy is at 80 there you go kind of thick oh thank you Vicki for letting me know Vicki is out Valerie is out I'm gonna start counting it down for Wendy 10 9 8 going once Remember, once I say sold, it's sold. Seven, six, five, going twice. <laughs> and uh, seven, six, five, going twice. Four, three, fair warning, fair warning, and sold. Congratulations, Wendy. All right. And um, um, if you can put an A next to that on the, on the paper, you know, the list for Alan. Are all of these going to be his? No, like most of them. Okay. You'll, you'll probably know which ones are mine. Because this whole, most of the night is his, really. Okay, so now we're doing this. This really surprised me. PayPal this. Button. Oh, the PayPal button. Thank you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> right. One of them. And also important feature. Okay, so that was... Uh, lot 285. Thank you. Lot 285. First one always takes the longest, everybody. <sighs> Somebody's cooking something in this building and it smells so good. And it's, like, oh, I, I, it's been like that all day. Oh my god. They must have something in a slow cooker or something. Yeah. Yep, yep, yep. Lot two. I often wonder, like, if the cats are affected by that, like the smell of food know. cooking, you know? Maybe. Edgar does seem especially, especially affectionate today. Did you say 85? I said 85. 85, yeah. Okay, all right, that's done. All right. So the button is ready, number two. And... Oh, you have three. Oh, my gosh. Wendy, I'm so happy for you. That is really exciting. Oh, my God. Yeah, it's same time period. Like, literally sitting in a box that long. Okay. Um, okay, so we're doing the ocean theme. So this totally surprised me, the, the, the weight of this. And also, I didn't realize it was sterling. Like, because it's the patina. The patina on all of these is so solid that I did not, I couldn't bring myself to change it. Like, I thought this was pewter. Look at the patina on this. It is so perfect and even. This is sterling, and it's dated, um, and it's artist signed. But you wouldn't know it, right, because it's just so perfect. There, you can see sterling there. But you, like, at first glance, you think no, right? So everything has that just wonderful patina from sitting somewhere for 40 years. So you wear them every day. That's awesome. So this was one of those. Turns out to be sterling. Here's the old link. Really great. It's an old um, clasp without the thumb thingy. See, the, it just has the push, the push thing, right? No, no actual thumb thingy. And then every single one of these is sterling. And they're all kind of detailed. It's all like ocean theme. That's a pelican. 
and it turns out to be quite heavy like quite heavy it weighs in at 12 grams so not a lightweight piece and there's a seahorse and you know all kinds of fun stuff so um <laughs> oh carly's on it carly's on it carly had a um carly's wearing a mask right now because she was having allergies right before Carly got the apartment, everyone. Did we did did we tell them about that? I don't think so. I don't even know if it was there. <laughs> oh yeah. So she was she was hoping to get an apartment. She got it. Okay. Um, I'm gonna put this on the pillow. What did I start this at? I started it. I started this at 85 because it's 12 grams of sterling silver and it's so old. There's so much age to it. Oh, Joanne, hello. Thank you for your bid. Um, here, I, I just want you to be able to see all the, the charms. They're so, they're so fun. Okay, proper tour. We have the little captain's wheel, the pelican, the seahorse, the whatever that is, <laughs> the, I don't know what kind of fish it is. <laughs> Sailboat, anchor, little angel fish, quite heavy. The chain, I mean, just the old bracelet chain itself with the old clasp, I think was a good starting bid just for that. Um, <laughs> yeah, video tour, oh, how fun. We should do that, we can make it part of Real Talk. That'll work. Yeah. You know, the Sunday thing where it's just for members and mm -hmm. it's not like we don't have to worry about like, you know, we can say things that you wouldn't normally get to say and things like that. Right. So, all right. Valerie is at 90. Yeah, there's so much detail. It's just the way they did things. Oldness. And these are all sterling and they just have that consistent patina. So it's it's even hard to make out. It does they do say sterling somewhere here. I'll try and grab. Can you see that one? I thought that one would come up, but because they're patinaed, it's in there. Try and find. Oh here, you'll be able to see it on this fish. <laughs> I know you don't really have to see it, but it's like <laughs> it's just to see if I can do it. There, see? No? There it is. <laughs> Stop moving. There, see? I did it. I got it to show. All right. All right. Joanne is at 95. Valerie is at 100. Heavy little, pretty little thing. And it's up to you if you want to clean it or leave it as is. I mean, probably... I think if I was keeping it, I would do um, like a sunshine cloth just to pick it up a little bit in the highlights and give it a little bit of that white metal, you know, more of that white metal, you know, a little bit of reflectiveness. All right, so Joanne says she's out, so I will start counting this down. We should do video tours of our jewelry rooms. Ooh. That's a brilliant idea, Lizzie. Okay, if you guys are up for that, Let's plan that out for the start of the year. You know, like like around January, I think that would be fun. We could do like guest things where you can come in through here. Might be fun. Oh my God, that would be really fun. It, yeah, whoever's up for that, we can do it. Um, just not until after the holidays for sure. <laughs> Wendy. It's okay, Wendy. I have, we text, right? Don't we text? I'm pretty sure we do. I can just send it to you after tomorrow. Um, I'm going to start counting this down for Valerie, though. She's been waiting very patiently. 10, 9, 8 going once. 7, 6, 5 going twice. Fair warning, fair warning, and sold. Congratulations, Valerie. And... Oh, you just tested it and it works. Yeah, you, yeah, okay. There it is. All right. So, and Valerie, I don't remember. Do you? 
Yeah, if it doesn't, I'll always send it after throw. And I think Valerie also is grandfathered in. I'm pretty sure she's one of them. And I have other stuff that I need to. Uh, for, so no button for her? Or? Yeah, I think not. She'll let me know. I don't, I don't remember. I think, I think, I think not. Yeah. So, yay, Valerie. I'm going to ask her. And I'm going to mark this so I can keep track. Okay, very old and heavy sterling silver dangles. Okay, these are 15 grams. <laughs> these remind me so much of the, the, the rice. Oh, thank you, Wendy. Got it, Wendy. These reminded me so much of the um, rice um, wiener, Warner. I can't remember right now. The light's on, the record light is on, so my brain goes. But these, these are sterling. These ancient, ancient things, they look like, you know, 1970s from India or something. They're not. They're much older, and they're sterling, and they're 15 grams of sterling. So they're really weighted. That's why they still look good the way they do. You know, like they're undamaged because they're actually very, very sturdy. Isn't that neat? That's the patina that the sterling became in, all, in, this, in everything in this box like you can't pay to recreate this there's the sterling marks and the screw backs I'll put them on an earring holder I started these at 85 too because of the silver content and I mean it would be very easy to convert these away from screw backs and it might be worth it you know like if you took it to the right person they probably wouldn't even charge you because the screw back metal um and the sterling is pretty pretty substantial it's silver sterling silver oh stella wants to know it's in the list stella it's in the description below <laughs> Sterling silver. <laughs> I crack myself up. <laughs> it's so funny. Like once you realize that you've done everything on the internet already, it sticks there forever. You just you're fine with it, and you can just, you know, it's like I know that's going to be on the internet forever. The eye pendant. Okay. Um, I haven't been to the I haven't been to the post office yet, so I'm sure I was there last time. It wasn't there, so it's probably there this time. So Stella is in at 85 for the 15 grams. <laughs> oh my God, Sarah. Oh, Sarah, that truly made me laugh. I'm going to have to, I have to, I have to go, I have to, um, I have to go to the loo now. I got to take a quick break because that was funny. Um, I'll just finish this up. Look, that's the back. These are delightful. They're a little wound up here. Let me get the dangle down. There. Delightful sterling. Yeah. Oh, hello, Thrift Zen. Thank you for being here. So nice to see you. Okay, I'm still. I'm gonna count them down for Stella. No one else has bid that I can see. Ten. Nine, they're a bargain. They are a bargain. Look how old they are. And they're 15 grams of sterling. Hi, Lori. <laughs> okay, 10, 9, and then I'm running to the bathroom. Okay, 10, 9, 8 going once. 7, 6, 5 going twice. Fair warning. Fair warning and sold. Congratulations, Stella. Stella doesn't get the button. So I'm just going to hand these to you, and I'm going to put the B right back up, and I will be here back. Everybody do a stretch check your lag. You know, do, okay, you know what? Okay, let's do it now. When I say one, two, three, now, everybody um, put in the word now, okay? One, two, three, now.
Well, hello. Okay. All right. Yes. Uh, Ruth, I got your text. Ruth M, the answer is yes, absolutely. You don't even have to be signed in to do it. So it's just an active link. If you've ever clicked on a link on the internet, it'll work for you. So thank you for asking. Um, hi, Torrid. <laughs> hello, Leonore. <laughs> Oh, there's, there's so many people here that are still kind of newbies. That's so nice. Thank you for coming back. Um, and if you're new here, thank you for, for being here. Um, okay, so Wendy looks like her lag is especially slow. She was the last one to get in there. <laughs> yeah. Uh, let's see who got the first now. Who's on the fastest internet? Oh, Autumn did all right this, this time. Well, hello, Jackie. Hi, Nev. All right, Christina, Christina. Well, yeah, you and I are pretty close geographically. I wonder if that makes a difference. Okay, so um, now we have, okay, I was kind of happy about this group. I worked really hard on trying to keep the groups together. Uh, I can, yes, I can, Sheba, um, if, I know, I, I know it's because I held it over from last week. So if you're excited, just text me now. Do it tomorrow. I absolutely will. Um, if not, it'll wait until after Friday. Also, um, my car, unfortunately, my car has been out. It's been a cause of stress. They said it was the thing that regulates, like, the heating and cooling. Like, sometimes it gets stuck. And so it gets stuck or open or it gets stuck closed. So it was going to be that, and then it was, the next thing was, oh, well, no, now you have to change the system that that's in. And that was like 460, and now it's like, oh, it's the water pump. Also, you need a new water pump. So that's like another 600. So And it's work. It's like they're adding to the time. So it's been a little, you can wait. Okay. Oh, good to know. All right. If anybody needs a rush thing, though, just let me know, and I'll figure out. Like, I'll do it with Carly or whatever. Um, but if not, it's going to be probably Saturday before 1230 I'm guessing which is my normal routine actually I just didn't do it last Saturday because we held off all right so I'm very pleased with this group I worked really hard I took my time my extra time with all of Alan's things because of the way they were all in the box for so long together so I made this group it's number five in the description box group of jewelry elements including the sterling silver link chain oh i put it in the bag okay good here it is all right all right so this is everything this is the link chain this is heavy heavy and solid all right there is no clasp ouch that's a pin don't stick yourself John okay so this is the first thing that's in there oh thermostat that's right that was the thing the thermostat yeah it started out with the thermostat then there was a system that the thermostat was in and now it's also the water pump so um, and it's not the newest car it's like an older Jeep you know so this is the first thing have had a few really good possible positive days oh yeah wonderful lizzie great news lizzie yeah well you're a positive person you're you know so anyway there's isn't this interesting never seen one like it before probably never will again and it's longer it is i didn't measure it oh i'll just show you everything else that's in this lot then the next thing is the um the stick pin this is ancient this is victorian uh, i think that's 14 carat what did it test as where is it yeah it's 14 carat here but not here this is probably like stainless steel or something or maybe i guess it could be silver i didn't check it but that is gold 14 carat i put these in there these these you can convert into earrings or something little shirt studs silver with mother of pearl um i put this in there this little thing i don't know what it is it's like a little school pin or something put that in there 
This was the newest piece. This is like from the 80s. That. Okay, so it's the sterling silver. This is heavy. This is like quite considerably heavy sterling silver links, great elements. This, this is complete. The gold, 14 karat, the shirt studs. Oh, the iris glass, this little iris glass heart. It's missing its center heart, but they're, they're very, they're really good condition iris glass otherwise. And then finally in this lot, the two Damascene Star of Davids. Oh, you have, so yeah, that makes sense. But this is gold. This chest is 14 carat and this is silver. Yeah, right, with the swirls. Yeah, I've seen it too. So a lovely group and the things are still kind of staying together, you know. And let's get a weight on this. This is heavy. I'm going to guess it's like five, five or six. Here you go, Carly. Let me know what it is. No, oh, it's 12. 11. 11. Oh, that makes more sense. Yeah. 11 grams sterling. Old, old, old. All right. And I started the entire lot at $100 for everything. Yeah. So the stick pin part is silver, and then this is gold. Little not designed. That's how they made them. That's what it looked like. See, you see the soldering and everything. Yeah, the chain, I've never seen a chain like this before in my life. It's the first time and it has like these balls in between. It's pretty chunky. It's a pretty chunky thing. It's 11 grams. Oh, I'll, I'll get a length for you, but this is to use as elements, you know, bits and bobs kind of thing. Um, it's gorgeous for sure it truly is um the total length on it is ten and a half inches ten and a half inches so there's definitely possibilities with this yeah you get the sterling the sterling mother of pearl the 14 carat and sterling, the iris glass. Oh, and you get this. This is costume, this little uh, ladybug. Pretty sure, yeah, it's costume. And then the 1980s, kind of Monet-ish looking thing, or 1928. I don't think it is either. And the iris glass and the Star of Davids. No bids, right? Don't see any bids. We will move along. We will move along. <laughs> it's definitely worth it. I, 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 I don't expect it to last. I believe someone will claim this at some point very soon. Oh, hi, James. To chain, I have seen design. No one like it. Old French made. That makes sense. Yeah. Yeah, it's, I've never seen one like it either. And again, like I was thinking, you know, clean it, but I just couldn't bring myself to do it. I just couldn't. So we'll pass on that. For now, for now. And the next one is, oh, the deco dress clip with a loose stone. I started this at 25. I was in rescue mode, everyone. <laughs> if no one bids on this, I am bidding on it because I will rescue it and it is my color. This is old, old deco, pot metal in the back. James says, hello all, there's the pot metal. So old. And then there's the side and there's the front. And these are those beautiful old pink rhinestones. And then there is the other one right there. It is right there. So that is something I am excited about doing. And I will do it for you if you want, if you win, or I will do it for myself if I win. There it is, complete. It's very beautiful. Look at that pink. All right, starting bid is 25. Do I have 25 for the old deco dress clip? All right, 
I will get it on. Oh, nice. I have to look into that. Oh, I know what that is. Definitely, yeah. Yes, I know there's lots of the old schoolers, the original, the original gang. All right, here it is on the black. <laughs> I'll pick it up. All right, calling this for non. <laughs> we have 25 looking for 30. I'm bidding. I'm going to make it official. Oh, you're bidding. See. Yeah. <laughs> no, no. 25 looking for 30. 10, 9, 8 going once. 7, 6. No, because otherwise, you know, they won't, you know what I mean? Like I have to bid like everybody else sometimes. 10, 9, 8 going once. 7, 6, 5 going twice. Fair warning, fair warning. Uh, sold. Congratulations, Dawn. And I will put that in a post-it note to myself. <laughs> and don't be surprised if you uh, if you don't see me wearing this one once I get that stone back in there. Twenty-five done. All right. From me to me, love me. <laughs> All right. Now we have that was twenty-five. Oh, the group of Canatel. There were four of them. Three of them are sterling, and one of them is a lower alloy. And that is, here they are here. I started this very, very reasonably. Okay. All right, these are the silver ones. And then this is the one that is not coming up as silver. It's probably like 800 or something. Do tell, James. <laughs> it's funny. <laughs> it's very clever. All right, so this one's not the silver one. All right, and this is very old. Look at the construction of this. The old C. I've never quite seen anything like that before. That was a new one for me. That's not the sterling one. Then these are all silver, sterling silver. We have the beautiful layered pansy, which does have this in the back. So it's also a pendant like that. And, you know, feel free to clean it. I just couldn't bring myself to do it. That's lovely. All right, that's one, that's two. And then this is the third one, really old. This is more of that. Uh, this reminds me actually of the Sardinian that I had. See that wire work? And this is sterling also. Look at the, the colors in there. But it is sterling. <laughs> ah. All right, so these... We have the first bid at 100, if anybody would like to bid, it is 100 for the three sterling Canatel pins, the butterfly, the large pansy, and that, which I guess is like a sort of a six-pointed star as well. There it is from the side. Look at the work, look at the layers on these. It's great. All right. And I think this might be a pass also. Okay. Um, hmm. I know it's not my usual things. That's okay. You know, you, you try different things sometimes. So, and I love everything here. It's just not what I usually show you. You know what I mean? But there's definitely, there's room for, for things like this in every collection also. <laughs> I think James has just captivated everyone. James has James has got the, the male energy going. <laughs> All right. I'm going to call that as a pass. And, oh, also my connection is shaky. Have you seen any, have you, have you seen a wobble or anything? No, because I'm noticing that I'm getting alerts that my connection is dipping. All right, next we have amazing sterling silver signed and numbered. Oh yeah, okay, so this is it. This is the giraffe pin. I started this at 
100. I had to. I did the comps. There are not that many. There was only like two other ones on the internet that were smaller. This is Sterling. It's dated 1969. Okay, no, no dipping. Okay, good. There it is. I believe this is out of South Africa. This is artist signed, which I couldn't make it out. The signature is here and then it's dated here and the signature is here. All right, that's the back. This is Sterling. Hi, Sabrina. Lovely. This would be great on a torque. Very modernist, brutalist kind of. <laughs> You're sipping, not dipping. <laughs> yeah. Oh, you know what? I'm going to find my torque. I'm going to find my torque and see if I can see how it looks. If, you know, one of those like V-shaped ones would be really good with this. All right. Yeah, it doesn't quite work because it goes side. Well, still, that's very cool. It's kind of a modernist kind of thing. I do like it. All right. And here it is. That is sterling, believe it or not. Here it is over pink pillow. <laughs> there it is for size. I believe it's South Africa. Comes to the artist, comes out of South Africa. All right. Wonderful relief there. Here it is over the black. Oh, the weight. All right, let's get the weight. Did I weigh it? I did not. All right, I shall weigh it. All of these things are kind of on the heavy side because they're so old. Can you, do you mind? All right, Carly's on it. Oh, this is ounces. Oops. Oh, she's on ounces. Okay, one second. The Egyptian Revival. 11. Oh, it's 11. It's 11 ounces. Oh, 11 grams. 11 grams. Sorry. That's what I meant. 11 grams. It's, he it's heavy. It's 11 grams. Howdy. Hello. Howdy. Howdy. Yeah. Sturdy. You know, like they don't make things anymore. Oh, Vicky, thank you for your bid. Vicky is in at 100. Um, yeah, it's wonderful. Very mid-century modern, all the way mid-century modern. And the silver swirly ones. I don't know. Were those past? All right, let me count these down. I'm going to count these down. Vicki has bid. Oh, okay, Wendy, I'll bring those back. I will bring those back. Vicki, you... Oh, no, please, that's so fine. Okay, I'm going to call these for Vicki. I'm going to count down right now. No one else has bid. 1098 going once, 765 going twice. Fair warning, fair warning, and sold. Congratulations, Vicki. Oh, Ruth. Oh, I'm so sorry, Ruth. You, it was just a second too late. I'm, it was like a split second too late. I'm so sorry. All right, so Vicki's getting this. Remember what I say, if you, if you want to bid via text, Vicky says, yeah, if you want to bid via text, don't wait until the last second because there's a transmission time and I don't always see it right away. It takes a minute, like the texting service that I use sometimes has its own lag depending on how many people are using it at that time. All right. Um, and Vicky says, so sorry, Ruth. Okay. I'm going to hand that to you. Um, they, uh, someone, hold on, said... Wendy wants to bring back the, the pins. Okay, I will do that. Let me make the button here first. Mm -hmm. For Vicky, I'm going to make the button, and let's see if I can remember which one it is. It is number eight, mm -hmm. and it is 100. Yep. All right. Yep. See, I can do it. <laughs> if she wasn't sitting here, I wouldn't. it wouldn't be the same. <laughs> All right, number eight. Uh, 
and it's making me sign again. Yeah, I'm so sorry, Ruth. Yeah, it's 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 always you know your experience with the transmission, you know, of the the time that it takes for everything to go back and forth on the internet. It's a little different for every person. And it's making me sign in again. So I'll just do this. Should be pretty quick. Yeah, I don't know how the gamers deal with it. You know, because like if you're playing a game and you're eliminated and you don't even know you're eliminated. Uh, PayPal buttons. Number eight. Okay, the link to the button is ready. All right, now let's go back to the Canatels. We have three of them are sterling silver and one of them is uh, just silver. Okay, and the starting bid was 100 and I think it was Wendy. She will confirm, I'm sure. Oh, T1 connectors. Oh, yeah, T1. I need that. I need that. I, I got the best I could get that was available to me. I got, like, the top of whatever speed I could get for the building that I'm in. Um, okay. So this is my favorite out of all four. The infrastructure is better for gaming than for YouTube. Oh, that makes perfect sense, Sunday. Sunday, our resident... Smarty Pants, Sunday Baubles. <laughs> okay. Thank you. Thank you, Vicki. I got it. All right. So Wendy said yes. She's confirming. So this is the first one. Look at the, the light through there. All right. And it's up to you if you want to polish it. I did not. It's also a pendant. You can wear it that way through this loop. Really pretty. These also have some weight. Hi, Anamora. This is the second sterling one, this old butterfly. These are ancient 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 all right then we have the third one this has a lot of weight to it actually um it's amazing how they just made things there's the layers of it this is sterling as well and i'm assuming wendy is in for 100 she hasn't actually typed it she's smart and fabulous she is smart and fabulous yes yeah it's incredible she's like um you know, in the tech world, and she's very, she's very much like an academic, you know, and, um, and she applies all of that to jewelry collecting and researching and that sort of thing. So, and then that's the fourth one. This is the only one that is not sterling. So I will call it for you, Wendy. No one else has bid, but can, can we just like, do I need to be that official? Maybe I'll just call it for you. Can you just, oh, Julie's saying yes, too. Okay, I'm confused. All right. Oh, yes, Wendy typed yes. Okay, fine, sold. Congratulations, Wendy. <laughs> that was a little confusing for me. Oh, I'm on, I see what it is. I'm on the Wi-Fi. Usually I'm hardwired in. I forgot to, um. I forgot to connect wire, but the, but it looks good tonight, everybody. Have you noticed a change in quality? I'll do it now. Come here, you. No, that's not it. What am I doing different? There it is, okay. All right. Okay. She's like, hand him over, hand him over. <laughs> All right, here you go. Thank you. Okay. You, that was uh, lot seven. Lot seven. Oh, right. Lot seven is 100. All right. I'll do that now. Lot seven. For Wendy. Um, and 
done. All right, the link is ready. And Jen, <laughs> oh, Christina says, hi, Jen. Yes, Jen, Sunday is Jen. Um, 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 okay. Yay, Wendy. All right, so now we're gonna do the little Victorian porcelain portrait brooch. Um, I really expected this one to be signed Limoges. It's definitely French. The weird thing about this, when I did the comps on this, they started at like 175 and went up. And they were all kind of faded and old looking. And not this one. That is like a fresh painting. So thank you, Wendy R. I got it. So there it is. It is not signed. It has the old clasp. But it's, I mean, it's extremely fresh. You know, it's not faded at all. Not on the sides, not anywhere. Look at her. Look at the clivage. Can you see that? It's quite remarkable. So I started it, I started it pretty reasonably. For a thing like this, I know you have to like it and understand it, but for this piece in its group or its genre is a really fine example. Um, I'll put it on the pink. Yeah, I know, it's just so, it's so fresh. And the, the painting is so vivid. I mean, it's vivid. Look, you can see the blue ribbon around her neck, the decollete or the clavage. You know, that gold paint that they use that's actually gold. Yeah, it's crisp. Ruth, the current bid is 75. We are at 75 right now. The next bid is 80. This is the six inch ruler and it is one inch long and wait a minute, it's more than one inch long because it's saying three quarters of an inch wide. It's, it's an inch and a quarter long and 15 sixteenths of an inch wide. And Ruth, okay, Ruth, you're, okay, Valerie is at 90. Ruth came in at 80. Janet came in at 85. Valerie is at 90. Um, there you can see it without the glare. It's wonderful. Look at the ribbon on her chest. You just don't see it like that anymore. Like that's what they're, you know, like now whenever I see these again in my life, I'll know what I'm supposed to be looking at. You know what I mean? All right, Valerie is at 100. Thank you everyone for the bids. Ruth, Valerie came in right before you at 100. Okay, Janet is at 110. Yeah, she's been sitting in a box the whole time. This is something Selena would like. Don't you think? Hand in the chat if you watch the vintage bombshell. <laughs> bombshell. Hand in the chat if you watch the vintage bombshell. This is so up her alley. Um, although you, she surprises you. She likes other things too. All right, Ruth, okay, Ruth, you are always right behind and Valerie. I am so sorry. <laughs> you could power bid, Ruth. Right now, Valerie is at 115. I agree, Julie. I agree. It's they, they will never do it again. It will never happen. It's over. It's over for these. Yeah. Oh, here are the people that watch the vintage bombshell. Yeah. Look at the blue, the blue ribbon on her boobies and around her throat and in her hair. 
and you can see her expression. You can see the little smile. Yeah. Yes, porcelain. Yeah, and she's been in the box forever. Valerie is at 125. Ruth is at 130. Top bid. Ruth has the top bid right now at 130. Single hair Kalinsky brushes. Oh, okay, Julie. Yeah. Yeah. Of course, to get the highlights in the hair and everything. And yeah. Me too. I love vintage bombshell. She was in the chat the other week. Um, so I wrote to her and asked her if it would be okay if I said hi next time. She was like, yeah. <laughs> so I'm waiting for her to come back. <laughs> All right. But this is definitely her. Like, I'm not just randomly saying her name. Like, this is, I mean, you guys know this is so her. All right. Valerie is at 135. Janet is at 140. All right. And I haven't heard from Ruth. I don't know if she's out. She's everyone's thinking now. We've gotten to the point. Okay, Ruth, um, Janet was at 140 before you. Valerie is out. Had in depth talks with curators. Oh, that's fascinating. Ruth is at 150. Ruth has the top bid at 150 right now. Julie says was just at the Royal Museums. Oh, how fun! I want to go to the Royal Museums. <laughs> I'll go. <laughs> Once I get my car fixed and my apartment together, I'm like, you know. Yeah. All right. Janet is out. So it looks like I am. Jenna Neb is laughing. I am going to start counting this down. Oh, how is the back? The back is perfect. It is patinaed, but it is perfect. It has the old C clasp. I'm going to start counting it down right now. Ruth has it at 150. There is the back. All right. And she's beautiful. She has a smile. She does. No, she really does. And you just don't see that. Like, I literally, for the rest of my life now, I will know what I'm supposed to be looking at like forever like this is so good this is how we are always learning and adding to our knowledge you know because you can really see it there all right 1098 going once counting it down for ruth at the top bid 765 going twice fair warning fair warning and sold congratulations ruth m yay you did it all right, don't drop it. Okay. Okay, now we're doing the Monet Jewelers. This is actually signed Monet Jewelers. Are we not doing a button for that one? Oh, the button. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. The button for Ruth. Okay, and that is uh, number nine. Mm -hmm. Carly's so good. She reminds me. Christmas for your mom. Oh, how wonderful, Ruth. Oh, that's wonderful. All right. And you can click it, Ruth. You can click it. If you can see the chat, you can click this button. You don't even have to be in the chat. And if not, I'll just text it to you later. But you can do that now. All right. It should be working. I think I made it the right number. Mm -hmm. Yeah, 9150. Okay, so now we're doing the Monet Jewelers. I loved that this was marked Monet Jewelers. I don't come across these. Wendy says, Yay, Ruth, it's for her mom. Yeah, that's awesome. Oh, you know, I think this is smaller than most. I just realized this looks smaller. This is an oldie, oldie, oldie. Let me measure this. It's totally intact, you know, untouched can't be that much smaller right oh no it is it's um it's one sixteenth less than seven inches one sixteenth less than seven inches so all right it just appears smaller oh i know why because the way the links lay when you close it it makes the like takes up the circle that's why but it's actually almost seven inches 
So it's this oldie. Look at this old, old, old mark. I, I, have, I haven't come across these at all in my life. The Monet Jewel, Jewelers. Monet Jeweler. Jewelers. Monet Jewelers. Say that fast. See that? And it's the pecking glass. You can see through it. There is light that goes through there. Um, it's actually not quite, I wouldn't call it pecking because it's got a lot of, it's actually got, it's art glass. It's got too many lines and things in it, I think, to be true pecking glass. But, um, but it's nice old Monet with the tag and patina. Oh, and the fit is nice. I like it when they fit like this. This is actually really good. I started it at 75, which I thought was more than reasonable. And I just realized I could have tested this for silver. Um, oh. Oh, did you? So there's the back of it. Prong set. There's the old, the old clasp with the, the tag that says Monet Jewelers. There it is. I thought it was great for seventy-five. Starting bid. And I will put it on the table. It has its old spring ring. Just. Right there. <laughs> and and I'm so happy you're here. Thank you for coming back. Thank you for being here. Did we know each other from Hudson? Or because I know that the people in your circles were also in Hudson, or did you just find it on the internet? Hi Maddie. Oh Maddie. Did you did you are you did you change it to Maddie and you're, you're or are you another Maddie? <laughs> there we are. Oh, look, you can really see that color now. Great. So great. All right. Uh, and, and, and. Hi, Christine E. Hello, hello. Um, oh, you did? Okay, cool. I'm so happy. Yeah, wonderful. Okay, Maddie is Maddie, everyone. <laughs> Um, okay, so you are the only bidder, so I am going to start counting this down. You're going to score on this one. This is good. 10, 9, 8 going once. This is very good. 7, 6, 5 going twice. Fair warning. Fair warning. And sold to Maddie. Congratulations, Maddie. You did good on that one. Such a rare a rare um, hallmark too. All right, let me hand that to you. And 75, first bid. I will make the button. Oh, Suzanne. All right, we're going to do a lag test. After I make this button, we're going to do a lag test because that came in really, really late. I wonder if I'm lagging, 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 lagging. All right. Um, Monet Jewelers. Okay, so that's number 10. All right. All right, right, right. Okay. So... The next one is the Native American turquoise pin and ring. So I think it's a really good time before we get to that to make sure I understand the lag and everybody understands the lag. I'm sorry, Suzanne Shirley. Um, hello from San Francisco. Hi, Tamara de la Cruz. All right. So when I say one, two, three, now, everybody type in the word now. All right. And we'll see. Oh, you know what? I'm going to... I'm going to go off Wi-Fi and see what happens. If, you, if I go black for a second, I'll be right back. It should be okay.
All right. Okay. Why is this happening? Okay, I'm testing my own lag. Look for open backs. Hello, Lydia. Hello, Maureen. Okay, all right, I think it was me. I think it was me. Um, I should be better now. I feel like I can see everybody more in real time. Okay. Gina, yeah. Yep, yep, yep. Okay. All right. So thank you for playing along with that one. I think it's going to be better now. And welcome, Tamara, if I didn't say it already. It froze and didn't hear now. Oh, okay. Yeah, that was the combination of your lag and my lag together. Yeah, it's a beautiful name. I always love that name. Okay. I have a... Okay, and Maddie, thank you very much. I got that. Um, yeah, it's a really nice group here, Tamara. I don't know if you've been lurking for a while, but it is like a really good space to be in. It's We keep it really nice. We keep it really super, super nice. And I, I have zero tolerance for anything else. So, But it's never really, I mean, it's so rare. You know, it's. A, I think that this kind of thing attracts a certain kind of person, to be honest with you. I think we all have kind of, similar things in common that draw us to these kinds of things you know the collection like even if we're dabbling even if you're just dabbling and reselling you're still drawn to it you know there's something about it so um okay so we are doing number 11 old sterling silver native american turquoise ring and pin they had similar stones so i was trying to keep them together um, it's 14 grams total weight, but with the stones. So, um, and I, I didn't clean them. I couldn't bring myself to do it. So they're so nice. This is the, this is the pin. Look at the detail on this. This does have no marking at all, but it's ancient, you know. Oh no, there is a marking there. There is a marking there. And then I'll just show you. You're just hoarding for now. <laughs> and then this, this was actually cut. This had to be, this was cut off someone's hand, it looks like, because it doesn't look like it's missing anything. It just looks like, or maybe they wanted to make it adjustable. So they, you know, they might have just wanted to make it adjustable or fit over their knuckle or something. It's a really beautiful old. I love this. I started for both of these. I wanted to keep them together. And I made it a hundred starting bid for both. Hi, Kyle. It's been so long. Calm and respectful, rare and wonderful. I agree, James. It's really so true. Look how wonderful this is. This is a goodie. And, and the ring is signed. The ring you think it was cut to get off hand? I think, you know, that was my first guess too, but I mean, we never know for sure, you know, it just, it does make it easier to get on and off. This does have an ancient mark in it. It's a J and something else that looks like a V or a check mark or something. It's like, it could be a symbol. It's, it's, it's right here. I think. Yeah. Um, beautiful stone beautiful beautiful old turquoise sitting in the box forever right next to its pin so they're staying together is it sharp around the cut no if that's smart sabrina it's been filed oh it's cut through the sterling silver mark interesting i think that this is this is not sharp so, I mean, it's not dull, but it's, you know, it's not like perfectly rounded, but it's definitely not sharp. See that? Yeah, you can see it. It's been, it's been, oh yeah. So this was probably someone who had like larger knuckles or, or something, arthritis. See, look, you can see it's been soldered a little there. Sabrina, you are smart. I'm impressed with that. That is detective work. I am impressed. Thank you so much. 
I learned something. Yeah, the matrix. The zat. Yes, the zat. So someone's bid on this already, right? Because yeah, Maureen, because I was going to bid. Yeah, yeah, this, this is super great. Um, they're both great. Not light, I mean special. Old Native American. Look at the detail on that. There it is without the glare. Yeah, really nice. It is currently, if you don't move it at all, it's currently about a seven, but I don't think that matters much. Here's what it looks like on the hand. It reads really beautiful. Very 1930s, 1940s. And it's with this one. I'll put this on the pink pillow. Hi, Vintage Me Cat. There it is. I don't have to talk, actually. You can see the soul in these. You can't compare new to old. You just can't. This is the example. You know, it will just never have the spirit. Also, I love that, that very light blue in there. Are those birds? Oh yeah, there's arrows. Oh look, that's arrows. All right, Maureen is out. Yeah, the workmanship is completely different. Oh, thank you, BB. Um, the pin, I thought, oh yeah, you're right. Thank you for reminding me. I thought I did see a signature and then I got distracted. I didn't see it. Yeah, there is a, there's something very old. There's a very, look. That, whatever that is. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> All right. Um, <laughs> uh, vintage me cat is at 160 let's see if there's anything else no that's a sick that's definitely a symbol it's like a it looks like a man holding a bow like somebody going like this right it's like it's a figure on its side going like this and then there's a shape that goes like that like a parenthesis and, or a blob it's that or a blob. <laughs> but it's, I mean, it's definitely intentional. You, know, you can kind of see them in there. All right. I know that's a whole other discipline, Sharon. I always say that it's like my weakest link because you can spend years of your life doing that too. Um, I do have some pretty, I have a pretty esoteric book that was printed by the tribes they got all together and did it. And it's this big, giant book on turquoise that they did almost as a piece of art. I, I was lucky enough to find that when I was in California. So that's helped. Like, I know that these are um, Nevada. Look at the bright blue. I love it when it gets to that color blue anywhere. All right. <laughs> Janet is at 185. Look at the shape on that. And it's wearable because it's so flat. You okay, Carly? <clears throat> all right. Yep, I was going to bid on it. I can see why you are all bidding. The sole is so easy to see. Archer! Yes, the archer, right. Yes, it takes a lot of, you can spend your life doing just that and nothing else. All right. 
This would make a gorgeous ring too, by the way. Imagine that. Not impossible, not impossible. Hi, Lydia. Yeah, hot, hot, hot. Well, you know, you can really see the soul. I'm totally not surprised because I was drawn to it as well. You know, and uh, I mean, I love everything, but some things I love more. <laughs> okay, vintage VMK says out to Janet. Lovely, lovely. Janet is going to get this for 200 Yeah, a great ring, right? Okay, I will count it down proper. 1098 going once. 765 going twice. Fair warning, fair warning. And sold. Congratulations, Janet. Thank you, everyone. That was so fun. You will dream about it. I know. And the thing is, it'll never come back because the stones are all like little, they're like cats. Like they're one of a kind. They have their own personalities. All right. I'll hand this over to you and I will make the button, the link to the button. Oh, I make the button, you do the link. That's what it is. That's why I always say button, everyone. It's really a link, but in my mind, I'm doing the button. Carly does the link. So it's 200, right? Mm -hmm. I'm 111. Thank you. All right. All right, link is ready. Our button's ready. And, okay, enjoy, enjoy, Janet. You've been getting some really great things. Um, nice pairing, thank you, Sabrina. I did try really hard. I spent a lot of time trying to figure out how to keep these things together so that they made sense. I didn't wanna just separate them out. Like, I just, I couldn't bring myself, I just couldn't bring myself to do it. I just couldn't. So, now we're doing this, okay, I hope this makes sense to you guys too. This is the, um, this is also sterling and turquoise. Uh, this is an oldie. Look how old. These are, um, that's sterling, that's not pearl. So maybe Navajo, I don't know, because they don't they call that like Navajo pearls or something? It's just, stud. it's in the shape of a stud. These are, these are turquoise. Nice one, old butterfly, silver, sterling. It's Mark Sterling, actually. There it is. See the old Mark? Oldie, oldie, oldie. Here's his little antennae. That's the back. That's the front. So this is the first in the group. I tried to keep them together. It's this beautiful sterling butterfly. Oh, I started this group at 75. I started the group at 75. It's this one, this one, which is gold over silver. This is gilt. Pretty, this is also marked. I think it just says sterling. Most likely Chinese, look at the old enamel, the glass. Isn't that gorgeous? This is gorgeous. This is gorgeous. Gorgeous. And then look at the shape of it. It's like new, actually. The antennae is perfect. One's in front, one's in back. Here we'll. There you go. All right. And then the third one is the cremants. Signed cremants. I did find the signature. So probably like 10 karat plated and that's not jade. So these three starting at 75. Can't, can't beat it with a stick, honestly. So reasonable. This is a killer. That is, That is too good really to be with the others in the group, but I, I couldn't separate them. All right, and then this is, what kind of clasp is this? Is this, oh, does this have a broken clasp? No, it's a clasp I have not seen. Oh, it's this little, this little like half beady thing. It, it's gotten, there it is, okay. 
There it is. Oop. There. Back of that one. <laughs> poke, poke. <laughs> I love this one. Okay. And I also love this. I love them all. I love all of them. All right. Has anyone bid? I started, I mean, they're $25 each, respectively, if you want to, like, break it down. If no one's bid, I will bid. Hi, Thelma. Thank you so much, Thelma, for popping in. Thelma's busy. It's that time of year. Look at that. I'm bidding. All right. I'm, oh, come on. I, I'm going to do it. This alone. Okay. Dawn's in for 75. <laughs> I don't know. Oh, Ruth. Ruth is bidding 40. I thought I started it at 70. I had to have started these at 75. I did. I started them at 75. What is Ruth bidding 40? Oh, 80. Maybe you meant 80. I bet Ruth meant 80. Okay. Valerie bids. Okay. I will take my bid out. I will take my bid out because it's, I want to, you know, I don't want to have that kind of reputation. Oh, look at it though. It's a really good one. So, so hand done. Also a soul. All right. So I think, I think Ruth might be at 80. I don't know because she sent in, yeah, typo. Okay. So the top bid is 80. The top bid, L and L. I like that. It sounds like a brand name. <laughs> okay, so right now Ruth is at eighty. The next bid would be eighty-five. Uh, absolute. I mean, I won't. I won't go on about what kind of a score you're getting because I feel like uh, I. I would just be overstating it. Okay, Valerie is out. So it's these two and the Cremens. All right, I'm going to start Autumn, Thelma says. Thelma says? Thelma says. All right, I'm going to start counting it down for Ruth. This is quite the score, Ruth. I'm actually a little jealous. 10, 9, 8 going once. A little bit jealous. I'm just going to do this fast to appease myself. Okay, get the clasp in there. I had the clasp in there. All right. All right, 10, 9, 8 going once. Seven, six, five going twice. Fair warning. <laughs> Fair warning and sold. Congratulations, Ruth. All right. Oh, it's how you sign the cards. That's cool, Lizzie. All right. These are delicate. Here you go. Lovely little, lovely little, little uh, group of butterflies. And they shall stay together, which I love, love, love so much. And Thelma is at 80. I mean, not Thelma. It's Ruth. Mm -hmm. Number 12. Number 12 at 80. All right. Yay, Ruth says. Okay, so this is the one. This is the yellow amethyst. Oh, Thelma, you wish what? Oh, I missed it. Indeed, a steel. Totally a steel. Did you see the, the Native American with the turquoise? I know. A sleeper. I mean, I, it's because I grouped them. You know, like if I had just said this by itself and just held it, you know. But I, it was difficult for me. I really tried to group these things. Um, so that's okay because it works out for you guys. This one I kept separate. It's a yellow amethyst like I've never seen in my life. First time for me. I'm going to put it on the, um, on the Lucite so you can see it. Oh, 
You did one what? BMK. Oh, you've seen yellow amethyst? Oh, that you could bid on the pretty butterflies. Well, look at this. This is yellow. This is yellow amethyst. I had to, it was coming up amethyst, 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 amethyst. And I was like, well, I know what green amethyst is, blah, blah, blah. So I did my research and it doesn't quite fit on the lucite. It's, these are, oh, this came out of that old jewelry box. I want you to see how it's fitting on the round. See how the curve is. I just want you to look at the, the age on this. Like it's not a perfect circle anymore is what I'm showing you. See, see, it's a little bent here. All right, see the curve where the stone is set. There's the stone, it's an old cut. So this, my friends, what they used to do is they would heat amethyst and it would come out yellow brown mostly. Sometimes yellow, sometimes a very clear yellow. It was to emulate, to, it was a way they did it to get the color of citrine. And it's a pure amethyst that was heated whenever, 80 years ago, whenever it was. And it's this fancy yellow color. And the size, it is about a size seven. Um, I know this, by the way, it fits on my hand. I can't really size it because it's a little bent. Can you see? So I can't get a clear reading. I, maybe it's a six and a half. Maybe that's what it is. Um, it actually doesn't matter. It's something that you would want to put a little bit of time into. Maybe even get it size proper. There is the back of it. And it's been sitting in the box the whole time. And I did a light, light, light cleaning. A beauty, you are, you are not wrong. It's the first one I've seen in my life that I know of. I was like, is it a topaz? You know, is it not reading right? Do I have to recalibrate? No, it's a yellow amethyst that came out really light, pretty yellow. And most of the time they are yellow brown. and it's on an ancient mount. Lisa P is at 170, thank you, Lisa. There are markings in there. Um, I was examining it today and I, read, I thought I saw something. Yes, I did. It's a capital L. <laughs> very tiny. It's a capital like block letter L and then some other word in a curve. And it's right here. So lost to time, lost to time. Here it is on the loose site. Oh, you can't wear sterling. Look at that though. Everyone just look, that's a yellow amethyst. from the ancient jewelry box. Isn't that neat? I love it. It's so pretty. Do I have my, oh, it's here. I wanna put it on the black. See, this is how you continue to learn. Oh, you can really see it now. There, ta-da, ta-da. Clear yellow. Like, but pretty, you know, sparkly. And it's big. It's a large carat weight for amethyst. It's probably like, um, I used to be able to do this better when I was doing it every day in uh, like Macy's and such. I think it's like five carats. I think it's like a four or five carat. Or it could be more. It could be like. I don't know because amethyst is amethyst is one of those things where it's lighter, so the bigger stones don't add up to as much. But I, on the safe side, we'll say five carats. Look at it. 
a 10 carat, you think? Yeah, I mean, I don't know. My my mind isn't as, I mean, I don't, maybe eight, maybe eight. It's got a deep, um, it's got a deep point to it though. More, you think more? Yeah, I'm a little fuzzy with that. Yeah, no, you're right. Oh, yeah, no, you're right. I am, yes, it's coming back to me now. I remember what the, yeah, this is like 10, 11. This is like 10, 11, 12. Yeah, Maureen is at 225. It's, you will be so happy. Whoever gets this, you are going to be so happy. Look at, look at it. It's so beautiful and rare. Yeah, a bit more. I know. This inspires jealousy. It's special. It's the color of imperial topaz. It's quartz, yellow, amethyst is a purple variety. Right, it's been heated. It's very old, it's been heated. <laughs> Quartz, yeah. Oh, that reminds me. This is coming up. These are all amethysts. These are gorgeous old amethysts out of that jewelry box. With the necklace, I kept them together. Oh, they do. They do work well. There's a learning curve with them. You have to understand what they test for and what you can decipher with it. And the rest of it, you have to know. Like, it's, it's a starting point. It is a starting point. It's not the be all end all. Yeah, see to its soul. <laughs> okay, so the top bid, I think you guys, I know we're all just talking about it. I could talk about it a long time. Oh, thank you, Janet. So I. So it was Lisa, top bid, oh no, top bid was Maureen. And then Lisa said out, enjoy Maureen. So I'm gonna count it down, Maureen. Thank you so much for your patience. I just wanted to enjoy looking at it a little more. It's like, I, you know, frozen lemonade. It's like frozen lemonade. All right, 10, 9, 8 going once. 7, 6, 5 going twice. Also has a soul. It's just genuinely old. It's not like what wants to be old. You know, you can tell the difference. 7, 6, 5. Four, three, fair warning, fair warning, and sold. Congratulations, Maureen. If you change your mind, let me know. <laughs> no, 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 this is for you. This is wonderful. All right. It is really special. Congrats, congrats, congrats. All right. Um, congrats, congrats. 225, and that was number 13. Mm -hmm. All right, all done. I kept the next ones together too. They're the two bangles. One is like 1970s. The other one, I don't know. The Lover's Knot and the Bali style. This has been crushed into oblivion, worn and loved. But, you know, it makes sense because the person who wore it, like, you know, that's, it fits the arm. Look at how it fits the arm, like a glove, you know? So that's the first one. This, both of these together, I started at, at 75. They are sterling. This is the lover's knot one. I think this one is considerably older. This looks like 40s to me. It's really heavy and solid, and it does this. So how wonderful is that? And... I started for both, I said 75. And I don't think I checked for markings on this. Did I weigh them? Did something happen where I did it and I didn't write it down? Because I remember doing that. Hmm. Might have gotten. Oh, it was probably the mechanic. It's the mechanic calling. You need a water pump. Okay. Yeah. There it is. This is old sterling. 
Okay, starting bid is 75 and you also get the 1970s smushed one valley style. Oh, you have a refractometer. Oh, that's fun though. There they are together. You can see this one's like the patina, you know, <laughs> it's not quite as much as this. This one's old. Yeah, this is great. Janet, this is really great. Thank you for bidding. Thank you, Nev. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I've reached that point where it's like, I didn't even realize, um, you know, it's not like the internet anymore. It's just us. <laughs> GIA takes six months. Oh, needs to be taught in labs. Oh, wow. Wow, wow, wow. Yeah, beautifully done with the pairing, putting, keeping them together. Yeah, it's like a love knot, but it is like a love knot. They are together. Thank you, Maureen. Okay, I'm going to show you how they work. All right, and then we'll call it for Janda. She's the only bidder. See? They're, they're knotted together. There's two of them. And they're really solid. And then this one I added to it to keep them together. All right, I'm going to start counting it down. 75 is great. Testing. Oh, my eyes. Tombs. Testing. Oh, testing rooms. Never use a gem tester in Akron. But it's a good jump off point. For people like us, it's a good jump off point point like you know like it separates the glass from the not glass you know the fluid dries out oh I don't use fluid okay cool bracelets thank you Thelma all right so uh, I'm going to count it down for Jeanette 10 9 8 going once 7 6 5 going twice fair warning fair warning and sold congratulations Jeanette there you are Danda, that was a score. You do the scores. <laughs> it's for my beautiful ring. Something for your. It is your beautiful ring. Your very beautiful ring. Okay, let me let me get the uh, the, the button ready on this. Was it first bid? It was seventy five. Oh my. Good for you, Janda. All right, and that is number fourteen. Mm -hmm. Edit. Score. You can wear it every day for the next 10 years. All right. Um, okay, it's the Stuart Nye. I started it, I did the Stuart Nye with the earrings. I started it at 45. Um, sometimes some of us have the, uh, the other pieces to this, so nice to, uh, to have the pin. It is signed. Oops. Come here, you. 45, quite reasonable. My specialty, upside down. There it is, right side up. Capital letter, N-Y-E. I mean, not capital, block letter. And then the earrings, the costume earrings, very 70s, kind of groovy, groovy chick, you know, it's a suede blazer, it's a burgundy boot and a coach bag with these, right? Just, you can just see it. A turtleneck, a rib turtleneck. Um, thank you, Jeanette. There they are. Those are costume and they make a nice sound. You hear that? And then it's with this 45, 45 for both starting bid. I dropped something, but I don't know what. Oh, it's the ring holder. You okay, Carly? Yeah. <laughs> Carly's working hard tonight. And she's sniffling. <laughs> Yeah. 
No, they're not sterling. They're not. They're just 1970s costume. Um, so they're, you know, they were like in the little time capsule, you know. But I thought that they worked with the, um, the shape of the flower. What is this? Is it, I forget, da Dogwood? He's famous for these. There, see the patterning? That's kind of why I wanted to keep them together. For $45, you know, you can do what you want with them, but I wanted to keep them together. Heading home, okay. Bless you, Carly, Janda says. <laughs> Carly says, thank you. Any bids? Carly is a wonder. I know, so lucky to, to know her. Yeah. She's very nice. She's a very nice girl. One's a wish, two's a kiss, three's a... What? <laughs> I don't know that one. <laughs> okay. I'm going to pass on these. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I mean, there's many, many things, you know. Um, I used to collect these, so, you know, and they're beautiful, the sound. I know I do, too. I might just keep them myself because I wear things like this. They don't have to always be silver. And they have that 70s cool chick vibe. All right. Uh, Dawn's in for 45. A hat band. Definitely a hat band. The shape on a hat band is perfect. Uh, 10, 9, 8 going once. 7, 6, 5 going twice. Fair, oh, on anything. Fair warning, fair warning. Sold to Dawn. Congratulations, Dawn. 45, my score. First bid. All right. I love the earrings. It's like I want to put them on right now. I like them so much. Uh, sold to me. So I'll just put it right there. And now, okay, this is it. This is as found. These are sterling silver. They are 69 grams, but there's a lot of amethyst. Okay, so, and it's as found. This needs work. Okay, here is, here is what it looks like. The clasp is gone. But look at the workmanship on that. Okay, and still round, like not dented or anything. See the shape? If it closes. Well, maybe it's slightly. No, it's not. There, see, still a nice rounded curve, gentle curve, all of that. These are amethysts. And here's what it, but you have to have the clasp fixed. It's phenomenal. Yes, it's phenomenal, Sarah. Okay, and look at the amethysts. This has been sitting in the box forever, forever, forever. They are sterling. They are amethysts. I started it at 200, and you get this as well as found. The amethyst in this is stunning. It has kind of an old paisley. Oh, I got a text. I got to read the text. Vicki is in at 200 first bid. Okay. And checking somebody bid via text. Let me find it. Oh my God, I thought I saw it. Now I don't see it. This is nuts. Okay. Okay. All right. So we have, oh, Thelma, hope you're staying warm and dry. Okay. So what is the top bid on this right now? We have a silent bidder.
Who is, what is the top bid? 210, I think it's the only bid. Thrift Zen is at 210. Okay, all right. So we are at 215 at the moment. There is someone who has put in a top bid. We are at 215 at the moment. Oh. So that's not her? I'm confused. Uh, no, there's someone who's bidding by a text. Oh, 215. I'm sorry, I misspoke. Someone has bid by text. Vicky is at, Vicky has bid 220. We are at 225. Yes, it's for the set, Sarah. So it's up to Vicky bid 220. Yes, and now we're okay. at 225. I have my silent bidder has a maximum bid. So okay. that's why I'm just, and I'm not going to say what the maximum bid is. So just so you know, this is as found. It says in the description box, as found. Look at the stunning, look at, Look at the inclusions on the on the amethyst. Okay, and it has the two on the side. I don't want to say they're the top bid without knowing. I know I'm going to handle it. Okay. I'll so see. Sarah, so Vicky bid two thirty, Sarah bid two thirty five, and we are at two forty silent bidder. Okay, we are at two forty silent bidder. I'll just put the silent bidder in until they're out bid. Yeah, yeah, I think that makes sense, just as normal. So this is exquisite. Now what I would do myself is I would take th these off, both of these. I mean, they look really good on the side like that. That is something you don't see anymore. Maybe it would be worth it just to get, you know what you could do? You could get a simple amethyst bead, just a simple round amethyst bead and hang it from there and it would be perfect. That would be perfect. Okay, thrifts. Okay, so Sarah came in before thrifts then at two forty five, but the silent bidder is at two fifty. Okay, thrift Zen is at two fifty. Silent bidder. Okay, silent thrift Zen came before you, Ruth, at two fifty, but we're at two fifty five. Sarah is out. Oh my God, I have thirteen thumbs up. That is awful. <laughs> There's 110 people here and 13 of you remember to click like. It's my fault. Please click like now. <laughs> okay. Um, all right. So Thrift Zen went up. It is fantastic. Again, I want to show the, the just the inclusions on that amethyst. Okay. All right. Okay. All right. So Silent Bitter... Oh, you see 64? Oh, that's good. All right, thank you. So I don't know. The silent bidder just threw out a number, and I don't know if she was talking about the likes or if she has changed her top bid. Uh, 67. Okay, that's nice. Thank you very much, everyone. That's half of you. Thank you so much. Um, the other half of you, please click like. It's free. Um, it's the easiest thing you can do. Um, I have received two new texts. Okay, let me check on those. Biscuits. I don't know what biscuits mean. I'm, I'm going to put this on the neck. I didn't even talk about the clasp. Look at this old clasp. I know. It's so cool. It's just been sitting in that box for so long. Oh, it's hard to get it through. Come here, you. There it is. Okay. There it is. Toggled. And... All right. Um the silent bitter i'm about to check there at uh, the silent actually silent bitter is still under the maximum bit so it, it's it did you say 260 mm -hmm. so it's 265 right now so it is bitter. yeah 265 but i have to double check and see um where they are at let me just so don't put it in um no you can put in 265 okay. but going forward i want to Double check. Okay. All right. Okay. Okay. All right, just clarifying. All right. That was at two seventy. Okay, so we I know that the next bid is 270 275. 
The silent bidder is at 275, everyone. And you are not wrong about this. Yes. Right, we can take turns showing things. We could have from the collection of, from the collection of. Okay, Thrift Zen is at 285. I th I'm waiting for confirmation from the other bidders. And they say, oh, this is not a time for my phone to stop working. Hold on, let me put this down. Two hands. Thank you for your patience, Thrift Zen. Okay, okay, all right. So, Thrift Zen is at 285. We are at 290. You know, you could remove the two top jewels and make earrings. Yes, yes, uh, absolutely. I, I was thinking that. I was also thinking take this and drop it here because then it's the three, you know. But I think one clear round bead, just a round bead. You could even find an old one. Is the silent bidder above 285? The silent bidder is at 290. Yes. We have the, the thing that's going on is we have two silent bidders. <laughs> and one of them went out and one of them kept going. So, yeah. So we are at 290. All right. All sterling, and again, the weight, it's very special. I mean, you guys will probably be annoyed with me if I keep talking about it, but I'm just so stunned by the stones and by the shape, by all of it. You know, it's very old. This is the kind of thing that, um, what is her name, Mariana Jacobs, is it? Mariana Jacobs? The history drives you crazy. I know. Look at the, the silver work. Thrift Zen is at 295, so we are at 300. We are at 300. And don't forget that the clasp does need to be fixed. But not impossible and worth it. And then look at the look at the amethyst. Uh, thrift Zen is at two ninety five. What about Silent Bitter? There's two ninety five. Yeah, Silent Bitter is at three hundred. Yes. Yes. I want to put it on my wrist. Okay. I'm just going to, I believe 30s. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Look at it. It's it, it also goes quite far up the wrist. Or up the, look at that amethyst. You just don't see it. Like, I mean, like I was so happy to see this, you know, because I, you just don't see it every day. You just don't. And it's better in person. Okay. Oh, Thrift Zen says I'm out. Okay. 10, 9, 8 going once. 7, 6, 5 going twice. Fair warning, fair warning, and sold to Silent Bitter. Congratulations. All right. Thank you very much, Thrift Zen. And um, thank you, everyone, for appreciating this and for being along on that ride. This was This is definitely a moment for me. Um, on my channel, I think I, you just don't see it like this, you know, screenshot everybody really. All right. Worth saving. Yeah. <laughs> okay. All right. Um, I'm going to, we don't have to make the button. I'm going to, uh, I'll just make a note. Did it, what was it? 305? 300. 300. 300. Okay. All right. Here you are. Mm -hmm. I'll just make a note. Of the second bidder, three hundred. Okay. All right. 
Okay, now it's time for the Venetian Sommerso Aventurine. I fell in love with these. I fell hard. I fell hard for these. They're graduated and they're 20 inches. You don't really see that that often. The largest bead is about an inch. Some people call it Goldstone. Some people call it Aventurine. It's a beautiful, super clear Sommerso with the deep cobalt. It's just amazing. Oh, Sharon. I don't. I want to say Italian, of course. There was so much in this box from Italy, and they traveled extensively. And this, this is from Italy. Like, you know, um, I love it, too. Oh, this. This is Italian. Yeah, this is Venetian. Yeah. Original barrel clasp. 20 inches graduated. So nice. Oh. Okay, Vicky is at 100. I believe I have a silent bidder. Let me double check. I, um... Oh. Okay. Oh, you're not a silent bidder. You're, you're oh, so confusing. All right, Ruth, please confirm, Ruth. We are waiting. Oh, you meant the last set. Okay, yeah. Italian, most likely. Um, I don't know. It's old. I haven't really seen anything like that. Um, the shape of the paisleys means that maybe it could have been something else. Did someone phone bid on this? Someone is phone bidding. I just want to... Make sure it's not a typo. They haven't responded. So has any, but someone put in the first hundred, right? Mm -mm. No. Okay. That's what I was asking. <laughs> All right. Okay. So r right now we have one bid in. Ruth is at 100. Ruth, let me know. I responded to you via text. Please let me know it because you're, you're, I don't know if that's a typo or not. Um, I don't know, but the top of is Ruth for 100 for the Venetian glass, the Murano Venetian glass. All right, I'm going to call it. I'm going to call it for no, but move on. All right, I'm going to return to this. I'm not sure. Yes, bidding. Okay, all right, okay. So I'm. we have 100 on that, because I saw your email, but I didn't see a bid. I saw the email asking about it. I didn't see the bid email. So um, I'm going to call it for you, though. 1098 going once, 765 going twice. Oh, wait, maybe I did see it. Sold. Congratulations, Ruth. Okay. It's okay. It all worked out. All right. Okay. And quite a score, I might add. <laughs> okay. All right. Going to make the... Uh... <laughs> yes. I apologize for that. Yeah. Okay. Um, I'm going to make you... That is number 17 for 100. That is a delightful score, a very good value, a real a bargain, actually. I'm just a, one of those stories you can tell. Number 17 for 100. Nope. I waited too long. I got to do it over. How's everybody doing? <laughs> okay. Mm. 
Vicky, did you bid on the, hello, Vicky. I, I don't think you bid on the Murano. I, well, I called it, I, I called it. So 17, One hundred. Oh, hello, Vicky. You are connected. You are connected. Okay. All right. Okay. Number seventeen. Oh, I didn't see it. I didn't see it, Vicky. I'm sorry. It got it got buried in in the um. There was a lot of traffic. That's why it's not always good to if you can get into the chat. It's so much better. I'm so sorry, Vicky. I'm so sorry. It went to. Ruth. Um, all right. So now we're doing my things. Okay. The Haskell is mine. The turquoise necklace is mine. The patent, the panetta, panetta. Okay. The last one, two, three, four, five, six things. Oh, I called you first at 100. Oh, okay. Well, this is okay. All right, thank you for understanding. Yeah, I, I'll make it up to you, Vicki. I promise you, I will make it up to you. I actually have, uh, I have a Murano Somerso necklace that is mine. It's shorter. And the beads are smaller, but I'll send you a picture, okay? Um, one, two, three, four, five, six. The next six things are mine. We got the Haskell cross, the turquoise necklace, the Panetta set, the Scaparelli, possible hand, the St. John clothespins, and the Jerusalem cross. Okay, that's it. They're all mine. And we're doing the Haskell crest first. Um, and the thing that's remarkable about this is it's like new condition. Like new, bright, shiny gold. Like the prototype bracelet, right? Bright, shiny Russian gold. Starting bid, 120. There it is on the pillow. There it is on a turtleneck. There it is on a hat. <laughs> All right. Nev says 120. Thank you, Nev. And Carly has typed and pasted the uh, the other thing. That's okay. Nev is in at 120. Mm. All right. It's quite lovely. This is from my collection. And again, the eerily new bright the lions with the crest. And the measurement on this is we are at 120, looking for 125. 120 is the current bid, looking for 125. It is three inches across and... It is signed Miriam Haskell in bright, shiny, new condition. It is about one and three quarters of an inch tall. And I'm going to start counting it down for Nev if no one else bids. 10, 9, 8 going once. This is a score and a half in this condition. 10, 9, 8 going once. 120 looking for 125. 7, 6, 5 going twice. Fair warning, fair warning, and sold. Congratulations, Nev. Thank you. Yes, I've had it a very, very, very long time. Okay. And it feels good to know that I can share these things and be okay with it. Like I'm discovering this with you. I am discovering that I can share these things and be okay with it, which is really, really nice. Okay. Um, yeah. That is number 17. Oh, how are you doing time-wise? Okay. No, it's not number 17. Oh, it's number 18. Oh, it's just 18. Yeah, I, I typoed. So, okay, I'm going to fix them all now. 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, and 23. All right. Number 18. I can't find number 18. There it is. Okay. 
All right, it's all done. Number 18 is done. Number 19 is the turquoise necklace with the 14 karat gold clasp. These are smaller. They're not chips. They're like small nuggets. They're woven flat. Um, and they are on a 14 karat gold clasp, which is clearly marked. There it is right there. Okay. It's like a pearl clasp. Tightly locks. Here it is on the bus. Thank you, Nev. Look how pretty this is. I love this one. This has a lot of a lot of pretty turquoise. Really, really pretty color. A darker matrix. You know, this is again. This is not out of the ancient jewelry box. This is this is vintage, but it does. You know, you can see the difference in the sole, right? But still wonderful. There's a good example of the color up close. Vicki says 100. Thank you, Vicki. It is truly beautiful. I know. And you could spend $100 on a 14 karat gold clasp, I'm sure, these days. Uh, there it is. Very lovely. It's like a collar. Yeah. It's, I like that it's flat. I love them when they lay flat. See? And it's woven. So it just stays like that. It's it's totally woven. It's not strands. And this is the size of the the nuggets. They're not chips. They're like they're nuggets. They're just they're not giant nuggets. But really really great. Like nice nice quality balance came from an amazing estate. Okay, I'm going to start calling this for Vicky. I know everyone's still just kind of commenting on it. No one has jumped on it. So I think I kind of want to do Vicky a solid because she was so nice. And no one, ha no one else has put in for one. Oh, Ruth. Ruth is at 120. Thank you, Ruth. All right. This does graduate. Okay, thank you so much. I got that. Thank you. Thank you, I received. Oh, thank you, you did it without the, uh, you just sent it. Oh my God, you're the best. Thank you for sending for the amethyst. Okay, so I got knocked off of the, okay, Ruth was at 120, Vicki is at 125. That's what happened. I got another text. That's what happened, Vicki. The texts come in and they get it gets a little wonky. Okay, so Vicki is at 125. Notice that it is somewhat graduated, slightly graduated, thicker down here. And it's a longer one. It is, uh, Vicky is at 125. Top bid is Vicky at 125. You can see the graduated quality if I hold it like that. See, this is the center of the bottom and this is the clasp. Okay, Ruth is out. I'm gonna call this for Vicky. 10, 9, 8 going one sold. Congratulations, Vicki. <laughs> Enjoy it. It's quite beautiful. It's, it's actually extraordinary. Um, all right. And I will make... Okay. Yay, Vicki says. All right. Okay. Number, number 19, number 19. All right. And now we have the Panetta Serpent Bangle set for my collection. Love these so much. Uh, 
in incredible condition. It is like, it is really like new. Look at it in every way. You know, the gold, the patina, the enameling, everything except that. There is one tiny, tiny, tiny. Ruth says, congrats, Vicky. So there you go. In the tail, at the very bottom, there it is. You see that? There's a tiny little, 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 tiny little crystal missing. But these are expensive to find um, in any condition. In this condition, it would be the top of the price point. Vicki says, thanks, Ruth. You guys are talking to each other. It's so funny. Yeah. Yeah, you made it a little confusing for me. But, okay, look. But they're both, you're being very nice to each other. There you go. See? There's the clasp. And I love this so much. If you do a quick Google search, you'll see that I was very reasonable starting it out. The nice click. And I have the earrings. I did it with the earrings. There you go. Uh, 1970s? Uh, maybe 80. Maybe, we'll say 75 to 85, Anne. 75 to 85, because Panetta did go into the 80s. Look. I wonder if you should, I like him facing down because when you do stuff, you know what I mean? But when you go like that, it might look better if you turn it the other way. But it, I just wanted you to see it next to the earrings. Pretty cool. There's the detail on the earring. And Oh, you know what? These are not Panetta. These are Landau. They came from the stylist estate. They were always together. So I, I never look. But Landau is high end. Landau is like the same level or better than Panetta. But you can see why she put them together. So how about that? Signed Landau earrings. That's a bonus. Signed Landau earrings and Panetta serpent bangle. Oh, the circumference of the bangle. It's about average. I want to say it has a safety chain. It's an oval. Okay, the current bid, I don't know if anyone has bid yet. The top, the the starting bid is 175. Okay, so it's an oval. I'm going to measure it now with the Landau's. Landau is good. Landau's a, a very uh, kind of a scarce high end. Okay, it is a perfect two and a half inside circumference. Two and a half, perfect inside, two and a half on the dot. So, standard. All right, not from here to here, from the inside to the inside. I can't believe you can part. I know, me too. Here I'm. Here he is facing up. Oh, and and C, thank you for subscribing. Thank you so much for for. Thank you. You, I got your text. There's his little tongue. <laughs> well, you can really see it. It's beautiful. All right, and it looks like we never met a piece of jewelry we didn't appreciate. It's so true. Okay, I am going to pass on this. It looks like I might get to keep this a little bit longer, which I am totally fine with. And, oh, 
Got it. Thank you, Ann C. Got it. Thank you. Thank you. And so starting bit on this, if I want to, Oh, Anne. Oh, okay. All right. Um, Anne, new person who has just connected has bid via another Anne. Anne C has bid via phone, 175. I will start calling it for her. He's so pretty, can I bid? Yes, yes, of course. <laughs> as long as it's before I count it sold. You can bid as long as it's before I call it sold. All right. So right now we are at 175 looking for 180. 175 looking for 180 and I need a number Ruth if that is you there there they are together they are special I'm getting more scarce all the time again the condition is incredible for this one um, and uh, oh Ruth I don't know what I, Ruth that's it's <laughs> I need it more you know <laughs> like you have to put a number in or I or I don't know like until you put the number in I don't know if you mean it or not okay we are at 180 <laughs> Ruth is at 180 okay. via I, I've the phone been, like waiting because it's all on the I phone. know I know it's all on the phone <laughs> then it, it, there's so. three people through the phone now so Ruth is at 180 and she has outbid Anne who is at 175 yeah all right and i'm sorry Anne. i know you're new <laughs> and i'm sorry that it took a little bit longer usually it's a little bit more it's a little it's a little uh it's a little less excruciating <laughs> Anne says 185 thank you so much thank you for understanding yeah usually it's a little less excruciating i'm going to put look these are signed land now i want to show you the uh the signature how about that upside down of course Anne says, no worries. Thank you, Anne. Yeah, it's not good. Look, isn't that great? How about that? These came from um, that stylist that I got the Escada from. All right. So Anne, wait, let me double check them. Anne has the current bid at 185. And we will wait to see if Ruth wants to bid or if she is out. Still less than what you will find the serpent for just by itself. In last time I checked. Okay, so sorry you are out. Okay, Ruth says she is out. I will start calling this for Ann C, the text bidder Ann C. Um, if anybody wants to come in, you need to do it before I say sold. 1098 going once, 765 going twice. Fair warning, fair warning, and sold. Congratulations, Ann C. Welcome. Thank you. You picked a lovely, lovely thing to get started with. For real. Hi, Michelle. Oh, Michelle, hello. We just called it. It was 185 to a new bidder, and see, so it'll go to a good home. Oh my God, that's so wonderful. Anne found the channel a few days ago and she's here. Thank you, Anne. Cool, cool, cool. All right, let me hand these over to Carly. And I'm going to make the, uh, the thing now. <laughs> Dawn's getting tired. All right. Was it 185? It was 185. Mm -hmm. Wow. Really good. And it was number nine, 20. number 20. Okay, number 20. Okay. Okay. All right. Yes. Congrats. Everyone's good. Thank you, Michelle. You're so sweet. And wonderful. And everyone's congratulating you. Um, okay. So this next one, 
uh, back when I was deep in the study of Scaparelli, uh, and I really studied. I really, really studied. I, I was visited by some people. I had a permanent invitation to the archives in Philadelphia um, from the person who was running the museum, Delise, the great Delise Bloom. Um, I, I had, you know, I've, I've had some Scaparelli. I've had, I've found some Scaparelli. I have gotten some Scaparelli back into the family of Elsa Scaparelli. So this is one of those things that I think is early Elsa Scaparelli and it was this quality, believe it or not. Um, there are these designs, you can Google it. And it's not like they were being knocked off at the time, but I've just never, ever been comfortable saying it for sure because it's mine. Like if it was someone else's, maybe it would be easier, but because it's mine, I've never really been able to do it. So it's a hand pin cir circa 1930s possible attribution to Elsa Scaparelli. I started it at 150 just as if it was a hand pin from the 1930s, okay? There's the back of it. It's metal. It's enameled. It's enameled metal with a faux pearl. And it's, it's, it's big. All right. There's actually really nothing incorrect about it. Um, it's da da, like it's it's all the things. It's not like there was a million people doing it at the time. Um, I just because it was mine, I just never felt comfortable. <laughs> uh, oh yeah, I hear you. I know. Well, Wendy, the good news is you didn't see it in person because <laughs> those amethysts were glowy. <laughs> they were like glowy purple cracked ice. Yeah, it's, it's truly fabulous. There's, there's a ring in there, on there. Um, and again, this is when I was, like, deep in study. Uh, I mean, and, and, you know, I've had a cape. I had a Scaparelli cape that went to her great-grandson. It does indeed. Yeah, it, de it definitely does indeed. I mean, everything about it. And again, the time period, it's not like there were other people doing this. Um, I mean, the color, you know, the entire thing. Yeah. Uh, it's beyond beautiful. It's, it's beat up. I mean, okay. It's not that it's beat up. It's showing its age. Like it's, it's, a, it's an oldie. Um, but still actually in quite great condition considering it is super cool. I started it at 150. Here it is on the, the thing. It's large. Yeah. Imagine it hanging, it, you know, you're right, it's surreal. Okay, I'm going to count from 10 to 1, and if no one bids, it's going back into my box. Because I want to hang it from pearls. <laughs> 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. All right, Dawn's keeping this one for a while. I gave, everybody has its, had their, you know, everybody you could have been, so, um, has character. Yeah. Okay. All right. Cool. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. I actually, I'm, I'm feeling good about that, how that one, how that one unfolded. I'm feeling good about that. Okay. So now, I don't know, there was, there was somebody who was interested in this. I don't know if she's still here. It's the St. John clothespin Swarovski sets. These, I started them at 75 each. Um, I guess we could do choice of. We'll do choice of. This is quite a steal. This is high high fashion from the Swarovski estate. Vicky is in at 75. Um, we'll do choice of. Here is the red. Okay. And it comes with the earrings. Oh, and see, thank you, thank you. I got it. I got the uh, the thing. Oh, these are the green earrings. All right, they are signed. Saint John, Saint John, which was owned by Escada. 
same gold plating. Here's the, uh, all right, let me see. There's like a handful here. And look, they're, they're like actual clothespins. Like they're three-dimensional. Oh, it was uh, Vicky. Wait, let me double check. Yeah, Vicky. Vicky is top bidder at 75. Um, these were like new. That's the stylist kept everything like new with tags. Um, I think it was maybe for tax purposes or something. I don't know. It was kind of eerie. So this is the green pin. This is the red. The, they're clothes pins. They're actual. They don't move. But they're St. John and they're like three-dimensional clothes pins, right? And they're also the earrings. And it's choice of. Choice of, yeah, 75 each, right? So we have one bid at 75. So the next bid would be 80. And you can pick red or green. These are the, the earrings. If you pick, look at the detail on there. That's one side. There, that's how I want to show it. The back, oh, the bottom, like clothespins. Okay. Um, there are two of each. I just haven't gotten it together yet. Okay, so here's the two. Here's the red earrings. I know, but they don't have to be. I mean, the fact that she had red and green means that she was doing something fun. But they really, so here's the red pin and the red earrings. St. John signed with Swarovski's expensive. And then here's the green. Look at how this was made. Ruth is at 85, choice of, all right, okay, here it is over the pillow, yeah, three pieces, right, choice of, you can pick red or green, basically, it's choice of, you can pick red or green, there it is over the pillow, it is, um, Here's the green earrings. Vicky is at 90. Green earrings. I know I'm just kind of getting butterfingery and I'm not doing them justice. Vicky is at Vicky is at 90. Yeah, Vicky is at 90. All right. Yes, they're they're kind of whimsical. They're also like super fashion. You know what I mean? Like if you're in there's the green and the red. If it was me, I would do one of each. <laughs> Why not? With a plaid. You know what I mean? Like a red plaid. How great would that be? All right. You can pick colors. Well, okay. Uh, yeah, it's choice of means picking colors, Ruth, but... Vicky is uh, Vicky is at 90. Your bid was at 85. So Vicky is the top bidder right now at 90. So she will get first choice. The way choice works is you can pick one and then second bidder gets second chance or you can pick both for your top bid. That's the way choice bids work. Okay, Ruth has power bid 120. Ruth has power bid. Yeah, very, you know, I agree totally. Right. Yeah. And, uh, you know, similar time period. But St. John, um, slightly better made. Okay. So we have a power bid at 120. Who is it? The power bidder is Ruth at 120. Okay. Here's the green. And then there's the, the red. <laughs> okay. All right. And so Ruth, so let's see if Vicki has said anything. Uh, Vicki has not said anything. All right, Ruth has power bid at 120. I was wearing the purple dragonfly stone brooch. Oh, the, the, the purple dragonfly. Maggie, thank you. Moogie. Yes, Vicky. Yes. Okay. I'm going to, I'm going to call this 
for Ruth at 120, 10, 9, 8 going once, 7, 6, 5 going twice, fair warning, fair warning, sold to Ruth, and Ruth has picked the green. So I'll make the button for that. We're going to do button number. Mm -hmm. I will do 20 because we passed on the scab. Is that is that okay? Mm -hmm. Okay. I'll just change it now. Close pin Wait, green. 21. No, I know, but uh but but the scab really got changed to 21 because of the thing. Oh yeah, 21. Right. You're right. You're right. You're right. Okay. Okay, so Vicky wants the red and Ruth wants the green. So I'm going to make the green one. It's button 21. For 120, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Number 21 for 120. Oh, that's a little confusing. Number 21 for 120. Here you go. Making that button now. All three of these green ones here? Yes. Okay. They're a set. One, two, zero. There. Okay, done. All right, number 21 is ready. And then Vicky's is 22. Vicky's is number 22, and it's going to be for her top bid. Where did I? Uh-oh. Oh. I have them Oh, oh, you have the other red one. I was looking for it. Okay, thank you. Okay, all right. So now I have to just make sure I get Vicky's top bid and figure out what that is. Okay, got it. All right. It was 90, right? Yep. So I'm going to make that button for 90. And that is number 22. Mm -hmm. Number 22 at 90. 90, Vicky says. Okay, all right. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> number 22. 90. All right, number 22 is also ready. Okay. And then the last thing is the Jerusalem cross. Oh, and I wanted to address the dragon's breath. Moogie, Moogie, or Muji. I am so sorry. Uh, is it here? I'm just going to throw it in. Let me find it. Oh, I was going to keep it. I was going to start with it on Friday. I just couldn't get to the list. Uh, so I was in and out of the shop with the car. Thank you, Vicki. Yeah. Oh, you know what? It's put away. It's put away until Friday. Um, you know what, Muji, Mugi, you can you can just text me or email me whatever you want to bid, and your bid will not increase unless it goes up. Okay? Because I can't get it out now. It's too. It's too hard. <laughs> and I was gonna save it for Friday, but it's okay. Like you don't have to be here on Friday. You can just bid what you want. Um, I'll text you what the starting bid is going to be. I don't know what the starting bid is going to be. It's probably like, I don't know. I have to figure it out. But I will, I will uh, have you texted me? Text me or email me. So send me my bill ASAP so I will pay you. I will be paying by credit card. Okay, uh, Ruth, it, it, we, we, uh, Ruth, have you used PayPal before? Because I don't do it that way. You, there's a, you, I will, I will put you... I don't know, Ruth, that's, there's a way that I do things and, you know, I, I have to kind of do it in the order in which I do it. Okay, Ruth, Muji or Moogie says she got it, she's got it. Okay, all right, so yeah, just text or email. Yeah, you can use a credit card on PayPal, Ruth. I've been sending you the buttons the entire time. So what I will do, Ruth, is I will text you all your buttons after the show or tomorrow morning because I might be ready to collapse. But you will absolutely be able to pay with the links that I text you. All right, and I'm going to try and get them together. Is it easy for you to list what, Ruth? I mean, I wrote it all down on here with the lot number. Oh, you did already. Okay, so I'll be able to do that at the end of the show, Ruth. I'll do that for you. 
Okay. I'll circle them so you can find them. But oh, thank you so much. Yeah, them. just circle them. Okay. Oh, thanks. Oh, thank you, Carly. Okay, Carly's going to circle it, Ruth, so it'll be easy for me to collate, and then I'll just send them out to you. Okay. Um, yeah, thumbs up on leaving. Oh, it's the Jerusalem cross. All right. Does is anyone does anyone want to bid on this? I started it at 50. It's the one with the, uh, it's like 900 silver. Have used. Oh, Okay. Well, you actually don't need a PayPal account. I'm going to send you a button, and you don't need a PayPal account. You can just pay like you've, it's, it's, you're going to love it. I promise you, no pain points. You're going to love it. Vicki is in at 50. Thank you, Vicki. Here it is. It says Jerusalem 900. It has the symbols. <laughs> yes, Autumn, thank you so much for remembering. It comes with the chain. Thumbs up, everybody. How many thumbs up do I have right now? There's 114 people still here. What Sheila said. What did Sheila say? Just say you want to pay by be pay. But. <laughs> Just say you want to pay. And then it will ask you if you want to use credit card. Okay. Yeah. All right. Yeah. All right. Did you hear that, Ruth? It'll 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 show you. Okay. Um, 93 thumbs up, Sabrina. That's awesome. Ruth says thumbs up. Okay. All right. Yay. Dana. Oh, <laughs> Diana. All right. Uh, we have, oh, Michelle says 93. Okay. We have, uh, I lost track of these several bids going on all at once. Vicky was at 50. Those are just the numbers for the thumbs up. No, I know. Oh. But Vicky actually bid 50 right away. Mm -hmm. So the next bid is 55. You emailed. Perfect. Okay. I know. No, there is another. There is. We have another bidder at 55. We have another bidder at 55. Oh, 95. Awesome. We're so close to 100. Please try and get me to the 100. It really, it helps a lot to get to the, I, re, I really try and make the 100 like Mark. Is it 55? Um, uh, the silent bidder. Okay. Silent bidder is at 55. Oh, Muji. Lol, Muji. Like the, like the, what they call cats almost. And Okay. 96 thumbs up. Vicky is out. Okay, so we have uh, 55 for the Jerusalem Cross sold. Congratulations, Silent Bitter. 96 thumbs up. So close. Is this the same Silent Bitter as the Amethyst set or no? I don't remember. I just, uh, I'm going to mark it here. Okay. Oh, wait. Amethyst set, what number was that? Um, it was... Was it 16? 16, yeah. Yeah, same. Okay. So, so then I could just put it in the same way. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> I'm dying. Okay. Five, five. All right. For, what are we at? 55? Yeah, it was, it was 55 top bidder for number 23. Okay. And I'll send that. I'll, I'll send it after the show. I want to I wanna just take a little breath, gather my thoughts. I want to ask for four more thumbs up. Please, four more thumbs up. Um. And uh, and the, the dragon's breath is coming. Thank you, um, Muji, uh, for your patience. I know you're you're brand new here. I love Kermit. <laughs> so um, yes, there is a way. There is certainly a way, Ruth. I'm going to send you a link that you can pay right away with a any credit card. You don't, it, it is, uh, PayPal will process the credit card, but you definitely do not need a PayPal account. 103 likes up, yay, thank you, you guys are awesome. Thank you so much. I don't know if you could tell, but I was kind of having a rough time there at the end. <laughs> so really, thank you. I will see you on Friday. There's no list for the remaining pieces. This is them. Okay, there's a, some of them. They're not all together. This turned out to be Bakelite, carved Bakelite. So that'll be finished up on Friday, plus I'm adding more, plus the stuff that I thrifted with the scarves, the accessories, the cute things. Coming up on Friday, something for everyone. And um, thank you so much for being here. Thank you for being with me when I'm an idiot and I can't talk anymore. I appreciate it. <laughs> 
Yes. Oh, and thank you, Silent Bitter, for that. Okay. All right. I will see you all on Friday. Have a great Thursday. Please wish me luck with the car, with the whole car thing. I need it. I need it to get to the post office and do all those things, you know. All right. Goodbye, everybody. Thank you so much, and I'll see you on Friday. Bye.